Hi, Member of Parliament. Mark Warawa at beautiful Langley, British Columbia, and I'm here in my constituency office meeting with Navi Gill, uh, the niece of uh, Lucky Gill, and we had a wonderful meeting uh, regarding the rights of women and, um, and dealing with the issue of gender side. Uh, Navi, you have some exciting news. Uh, tomorrow, um, October the 11th, is uh, the first International Day of the Girl, uh, starting in Canada. And uh, maybe you could uh, share with us some good news of an organization that you're going to be starting and, and the model. Definitely. Uh, so tomorrow, in um, representing the International Day of the Girl, Lucky and I have decided to launch our organization called Global Girl Power, which stands for all sorts of women's rights issues. It's essentially going to be a platform where women from not just North America, but all over the world can come together and we can support them on any topics that they might be um, undergoing, whether it's a uh, health issue or like you said gender side is one issue education uh, we really want to support women essentially it's women coming together to support other women and our motto is together we're stronger because that means so much that if someone who's out there looking for support it could just be you know a simple ear to talk to or a hand up with whatever it is that they need that simple little beam of light for somebody can change their entire life and that's what we want to represent here is that if all the beams of light in this world come together we can light up the whole universe and that's what women are in this world I feel is we do light up the world we are 50% of this world and without women where would be that light on this world very good. Well, you're lighting up this office <laughs> with your excitement. Uh, how important is it to, to, for our country, for Canada, to deal with the issue of gen gen gender side? It's definitely very important because as a Canadian-born um, Indian woman, um, it's surprising to me that this does occur in North America and in Canada, and it's not just an issue that happens in third world countries or with uneducated people. It happens right here in our home, and it's important to educate people on the importance of what happens if there is a gender imbalance in this world. Maybe we might not see it today or this year, but 15, 20 years from now, when I have children and grandchildren, will this be a safe world for girls? And the way things are going right now, uh, the gender imbalance in some of those other countries is so great that that's why we have such a high rate of uh, human trafficking, prostitution, all these issues are happening that in 25 years, if we don't stand up for this issue now and stop, you know, um, having that gender bias and you know killing baby girls before they're even born or having that violence continue in their lives even when they're given a chance to be born, what will the condition of this world be? Will it be a safe place for women? Thank you for your passion. It's been a real honor and uh, look forward to working with you and, and with your aunt, uh, Lucky Gill. So thank you so much, Nabi and, and Lucky.